hello everyone welcome to gmail tutorials in this video we will see that how can we enable the desktop notifications for our emails or for any of the activity that is going on into our gmail account how do we enable the desktop notifications for that so the process is pretty simple all you need to do is make sure you are in your gmail account click on this cork icon that shows settings click on see all settings now make sure you are in the general tab scroll all the way down to where it says desktop notifications uh, it basically allows gmail to send you the notifications on desktop so that any important information or any important email conversation you do not miss so it says that allows gmail to display a pop-up notification on your desktop when new email messages arrive if you want the new email notifications to be on that is the first option that says notify me when any new message arrives in my inbox or the primary tab so the social and the promotions tab which are the two default tabs added by gmail are not included only the primary tab is included over here the second option is important mail notifications on that is notify me only when an important message arrives in my inbox so how do you identify if the message is important either it is a start or if through google algorithm it decides that it is an important message so it is a risky thing because sometimes uh, a message could be important to you but google may not recognize it as that important so it is always considered good practice to send the new uh, mail notifications on to all the notifications all the emails that you are receiving in the inbox tab or the primary tab okay next is the mail notification sound so if you want to customize the sound here are the bunch of the sounds that are given to you that you can use so let me just make sure i'm not muted these are the sounds you can actually listen to them So oh, this one is looking good to me the treasure sound and i'm going to go with it so once you have applied these settings scroll all the way down and click on save changes that's it for this video thanks for watching